September 20th, 2014 at Memorial Stadium. Uh, 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 September 20th, 2014 from Ferret Field at Memorial Stadium in Columbia, Missouri. It was Indiana Hoosiers versus the Missouri Tigers. As the 18th ranked Missouri Tigers took on the Hoosiers at home. And Indiana won the coin toss and chose to receive. Indiana would end up punting on their first drive. And now the home team Tigers took over. But they would go three and out and punt the ball back to the visiting Hoosiers. The Hoosiers took over. But they would end up punting. And now Missouri got the ball back with about nine minutes left in the first. But they punted it right back to the Hoosiers after not really getting anywhere. As penalties brought their drive to a quick stall. So now Indiana took over with about seven minutes left in the first and they ended up going 66 yards in six plays in a minute and a half. Nick Stoner caught a 47 yard pass from Sudfeld that would later set up a one yard touchdown run from Tevin Coleman as the Hoosiers got on the board first and led this game seven to nothing. So now the Tigers took over with a little over five minutes left in the first and they would end up scoring as they tied this game up at 7 off a 45-yard touchdown pass from Mock to Hunt to make this game tied. So now the Hoosiers took over with about 3 minutes left in the quarter. They brought the quarter to a close and opened up the second quarter on the Missouri 28. They ended up scoring a touchdown to go back up by 7 when D'Angelo Roberts punched it in from a yard out with the score now 14-7. to now the Tigers took over with about 13 minutes left before halftime, but they would end up punting, and the Indiana took over with about eight and a half minutes left in the half, but they would end up punting. So now the Tigers took out over with about seven minutes left before halftime, and two plays later, Russell Hansbro broke a 68-yard run for a touchdown to tie this game up at 14 apiece. So now Indiana took over with about seven minutes left before halftime. They would end up punting. So now the Tigers had the ball with about six minutes left in the half. They would end up getting a field goal as they took the lead for the first time in this game. As Andrew Baggett kicked the 27-yarder, and it was good. So now the Indiana Hoosiers took over with less than three minutes left before halftime, but they would make it all the way down to the Missouri six. Their drive would stall, and they were forced to settle for a 23-yard field goal. And that would tie this game up at 17 apiece as this game came to halftime. So starting off the second half, Missouri got the ball. And on the first play from scrimmage, Mock threw an interception as Mark Murphy gave the Hoosiers the ball. But they would end up kicking a field goal three plays later, four plays later actually, because they didn't get anything going. And from the 24, having taken over at the 25, they attempted a 41-yard field goal, and they missed. So this game remained tied at 17 apiece. The Tigers now took over with about 13 minutes left in the third. They would end up punting the ball. Now the Hoosiers took over with about 10 and a half minutes left, but they ended up punting. So now Missouri got the ball, and they punted it right back. And now the Hoosiers punted it back again. As they, these two teams just kept trading punts, and that trend continued as Missouri would end up punting the ball in their next drive. So now the Hoosiers got the ball with a little over a minute left in the third, and two plays later they scored on a 33-yard touchdown pass from Sudfeld to Harris the second. So now the Hoosiers led 24-17 to as the quarter was soon coming to a close. Missouri brought the quarter to a close and opened up the second half on the Indiana 30-yard line. They would end up scoring on a one-yard touchdown pass from Mock to Calkin to tie this game up at 24 apiece. The Hoosiers then took over, but they would end up punting the ball, and now the Tigers had the ball, but they would punt it, and now the Hoosiers had it, and they would punt it. As these teams traded punts once more. But now the Tigers took over with six and a half minutes left in this game, and they would drive 70 yards in 11 plays in about four minutes as they kicked a 40-yard field goal to take the lead at 27-24, to and it looked like the Missouri Tigers were going to win this game. But not so fast because here came the Hoosiers with about two and a half minutes left in regulation, and they marched all the way down to the Missouri three-yard line, which was set up by a big penalty after a 44-yard 
a pass and then a face mask. And so now they are right there on the goal line. A four-yard run by Roberts brought him to the three. And then Roberts punched it in for a three-yard touchdown run. And the Hoosiers were now up 31-27 to as they took a four-point lead with just seconds left in this game. The Tigers would get the ball back with a less than half a minute left on the game clock. But they couldn't get anything going as they brought the ball to midfield. But that would be it as the final play was a 16-yard pass. But they were tackled and the game came to a close as they were not able to get into the end zone. And the Indiana Hoosiers upset the Missouri Tigers 31-27 to in Missouri. And in this game, Nate Sudfeld was 18 for 33 with 252 passing yards and a touchdown. Maddie Mock was 28 for 47 with 326 passing yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. Tevin Coleman had 132 rushing yards off of 19 carries and a touchdown. Roberts had two touchdowns off of 65 yards and 15 carries. Russell Hansbro had 119 yards receiving off of 10 uh, rushing, rather, off of 10 carries and one touchdown. Mock also ran for 32 yards off of 13 carries to go along with his passing statistics. Bud Sasser was the game's leading receiver with 11 receptions for 142 yards. But that wouldn't be enough to beat the Indiana Hoosiers as they came up huge and they upset the Tigers with the final score 31-27.